This is going to be a list of the top five supercars in GTA Online based on all performance, not just top speed, but lap time, custom tested by me, customization all around the vehicle. Let's start off with number five, the Krieger. So the Krieger came out all the way back in the Diamond Casino Resort DLC and it automatically became one of the best vehicles in the whole game. And that's still true to this day in 2023. This car has a top speed of 127.25 miles per hour. This is coming from GTAcars.net. And on my custom made track, we got a lap time of 1 second, 0 0.01.468 seconds. Now this track is somehow designed perfectly. I didn't even expect this, but it's designed perfectly to where the top ones get under one minute. Oh yeah, this is just on the edge of under one minute lap time. So how much does this vehicle cost? It costs 2,875,000, the just of the base price. And for what you're getting is still great in 2023. The acceleration is one of the best in the game with handling being amazing. Uh, the looks is crazy. This is based off the AMG Project 1, which is one of the best vehicles ever. It's a concept vehicle, but this is just like a concept vehicle. It's crazy top speed, looks amazing, and it's a hybrid sports car, at least in real life. In the game, it's all gas powered, but in real life, it's hybrid. That's what makes it super fast. So it just handles great on the racetrack and in the city streets, which is what you need in GTA Online. But if you want a more racing type vehicle the next one is the lm87 at number four so the lm87 is one of the newer vehicles and one of the most fastest too this has a top speed of 128.5 miles per hour which is six out of 57 in the super cars class and on my testing track it has a lap time of one minute 0 .00, 0 0.520 this car is definitely inspired off of the racing series in real life the car is based off of the Sauber Mercedes C9 and is one of the more unique vehicles on this top 5 list just because of how it looks. It's like a project vehicle, project racing vehicle. I mean, you can see all the bolts and everything on it. It looks really cool. But the thing that makes it the most unique is that it only has one seat. I think there's only a few other vehicles in the game like this, including the F1 cars that only have one seat. But yeah, that's something rare about this vehicle. So very unique because of that and people will be asking you, what car is this and asking you to drive it. So that's really cool. This was released at Criminal Enterprises DLC last year and you can buy it for $2,915,000 on the in-game website. And that's one of the most expensive vehicles in the whole game. Just past 3 million with all the upgrades, but it's worth it. I mean, the speed is there. It's not the fastest on this list though. So the price is a little high, but the car is just amazing. It's a really underrated car with how it looks. The price is a little high, the handling is kind of bumpy, but it's actually one of the fastest supercars. So the handling is a little bumpy on the bumps, it rides very close to the ground, so you should expect that when driving this vehicle. But when you learn how to drive this thing, it's super fast and very fun, and can even beat some of the fastest vehicles in a straight line. The look of this car is really cool with just invisible bolts and intakes on the top and the massive wing. It really does look like a racing concept car and performs like one too. Hopefully they add more vehicles like that because that's really cool, really unique. We don't get that a lot. Now going from one of the best performing cars without how Special Works upgrades. So if you're on PC or last gen, this is the car to get. It's number, it would be number one if we didn't include the how Special Works upgrades vehicles on this list. So at number three is the Emirates. The third best lap time in the whole supercars class, even up against how Special Works vehicles is the Emirates, and that's why it's at the third spot here even up against how special works vehicles this is the third best for a lap time the Emirates was released in the diamond casino and resort dlc and was the fastest vehicle when it released after all the house special works vehicles were added it's gone down a little but even still it's the third best vehicle during a lap time on a track with a lap time on my track of one minute 0 .00, 0 0.250 seconds and a top speed of 127.25 miles per hour which is only the 14th best in the supercars class but the handling and cornering is where this gets its spot at. It brings it so far ahead of every other vehicle in GTA Online. The perfect vehicle 
to me in GTA Online has a good top speed and even better handling for the city streets. Because you're maneuvering around all the other vehicles, other players, and most likely if you're racing, uh, the, that track is going to have a lot more corners than long straights. And this fits that perfectly and is why it's on the third spot on this list because it races, because in races it's good, but also in free mode settings where you're driving and maneuvering around traffic, it's really good. That's what makes this car still good in 2023. The car costs a little less than the LM87 costing 2750000 which will just be over 3 million with all the upgrades you have to do. This car is also one of my favorite looking vehicles. It's based off the McLaren Senna, almost identical to it. That's really why this car looks so good. They made it almost to scale and they did that perfectly. It has a crazy amount of customization options and every single one of them looks good. You can't go wrong with any customization option. If you're a car collector or just want each of the fastest cars, this is a must get. Because remember, even if you are on next gen and have access to how special works upgrades, you can people can turn that off in the race setting so you can only play the vehicles that's not that don't have how special works upgrades. So this is a must buy, and that's why it's at the top of the best supercars list, just behind the how special works vehicles. So moving on to the top two, I just add two in. I could I add uh, maybe the Devastate 8 at number three. But the top two, these are the ones you're going to want to get. The, probably the two best superpowers in the whole game. At number two is the House Special Works Cyclone 2. The Cyclone 2 is a beast. It has the best acceleration out of any car in the game. The handling is one of the best. And the top speed is the fourth best of all the supercars class in the game. It has a top speed of 141 miles per hour, which is fourth out of 57. And a lap time of just under... 1 minute at 59 seconds, 0.140. The handling is what gives this car that lap time. The top speed can be better. It is an electric vehicle. You have to remember that. So if you are going for only top speed, this is still good, but maybe go for the Death State 8 or the number 1 spot. But for all round, this car is at number 2. Crazy quartering speeds and acceleration makes the Cyclone 2 what it is. You take the OG Cyclone out and just boost everything to the max, this is what that is. Even if you don't care about the speed, uh, this is one of the most fun cars to drive around in GTA Online. You can't even do infinite 360s with this car, which you can't do with any other car because this car just has so much power to it. Usually electric vehicles aren't that good in this game, but they changed it up with this one and showed us what electric vehicles can be if they made more like this. Cyclone 2 is based off of the Remiac Nevera, an electric supercar, and it really does look like that. So it really just looks so good. This car was released with the expanded and enhanced version of this game, and I made a video all about this car, the customization, and a whole review on it when it first came out. I was the first to upload this car to test it and review it, so I know this car is amazing and the most fun car to drive. The Cyclone has a base price of $2,250,000 and the house special works upgrades for the Cyclone 2 is $475,000 bringing the total price to $2,715,000 for this insane vehicle and it's 100% worth it. Now at number one, I made a video about this alone and why it might be one of the best vehicles in the whole game. Anything, compared to anything, not just a sports car. But this is definitely number one in the supers class. It's the House Special Works Weaponized Ingus. The Weaponized Ingus takes the Ingus that's already pretty powerful and bumps it up to 100%. There is so much to get into with this. Let's just start at the price. The price is $2,765,000 and for the House Special Works upgrades, it's an extra $500,000. So in total, that's $3,265,000 for the base price alone. That makes it the most expensive vehicle in the game that's not a golden jet or anything else like that. All that money gets you the fastest car in the game. The weaponized Ingus has the best top speed, 146.25 miles per hour, which is third in supercars class behind the House Special Works, Devastate 8, and Entity MT, which don't make it on the list because of the handling of those vehicles, just bring it down so much. So if you're wondering why those are ahead on GTA Cars.net, but not on this list, it's because the handling is just 
terrible. But the lap time of the Ingus is the best out of any car in the whole game with a lap time of 57.175 seconds. That is almost two seconds ahead of second place. This car was released in the, with the expanded and enhanced version of GTA 5 and will probably stay at number one for a good while. So you're going to want to get this vehicle. It's based off of the Lamborghini Scion FKP37. Pretty much basically right to scale. I don't know how they did it, but they just basically copied it and put, posted it into the game. Looks exactly like it, which is why it looks so good in the game. One of the best looking vehicles, in my opinion. The customization options are very good, having a lot more options than really any other supercar in the game. It even has its own weapon on top, which didn't affect this placement here. The customization and looks is just amazing. Driving this car around the city just feels so good and perfect, just like every car should be. It handles the bumps good, the top speed is just crazy. As you can see here in this clip, I am flying. This is why they couldn't add it to last gen, because the top speed would just completely break the game. And even though it has a weapon on top, it still uses car in races that have the House Much Works options enabled. So this is a must pick if you're going to be competing against other players or any other car. It completely smokes out any other car in the way. It's one of the most expensive in the whole game, but it's 100% worth it for getting the best supercar in GTA Online. According to my list at least, handpicked by me. If you think something else should be at number one, tell me what it is and I might show your comments in a community top five list or something like that because this is just my list, but all these cars are at the top of the class for a reason. The speed, the customization, the handling, the looks, everything about the top five cars on this list is amazing and makes them worth it to buy in GTA Online. If you got this far into this video, that probably means you liked it, so leave a like if you want to, subscribe to see whatever video I make next.